Thank you. That was cool. I've got goosebumps. Uh, awesome. Well, thank you for being here. Welcome to DevCon 2012. This is so cool. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'm just glad that you're here. We're going to have a great couple of days. If this is anything like Berlin was, uh, you, guys are, you guys are in for a treat over these next couple of days. And the first thing I want to do is say thank you to Amazon Web Services, our, um, our diamond sponsor. And uh, as well as Zia and uh, RivetLogic, our gold sponsors. As you can imagine, this is an expensive conference uh, to put on, and um, you know their their financial support helps keep the price as low as we can for uh, for all of you. So we really appreciate that. Make sure you spend some time uh, in the uh, exhibit hall looking at the other sponsors. Okay. <clears throat> all right. Next thing is uh, a little housekeeping thing. Make sure you rate your sessions. So as you probably notice, our program guide is completely uh, online now. So you can go to devcon.alfresco.com, get the session schedule, get last minute uh, updates and changes. And then when you walk out of a session, click the Rate This Session button. And uh, it's really simple. It's a short little form. You give it a five-star rating, and you give it some comments. This is, uh, or whatever rating is appropriate. It doesn't have to be five stars, but I hope it is. But this is really helpful to me and uh, to all the speakers, so I would really appreciate it if you would rate your sessions. All right, tonight there's a party going on, uh, 7 o'clock at Arcadia. Arcadia is right downstairs, and it's uh, right by the hotel bar, so I know a few of you already know where that is. Uh, but uh, you won't even have to leave the building, it's, uh, it's just right, right downstairs. So join us for some craft uh, beers and some, uh, some good food. Now, a big thing, uh, a big reason why people come to DevCon is to take advantage of engineering office hours. And this is where you can sign up for a time slot with an engineer and discuss a, an approach to a problem that you have, um, or, uh, or just to validate some thinking around a solution that you're trying to implement. There's a sign-up board right outside the door, so you just go around the corner, put your name on a time slot, and then when it's time for your meeting, you hook up with your engineer and you have a one-on-one -on -one session. So that's a great way to get questions answered. Another great way is to come to the panel discussion. Panel discussion is the last session of the day tomorrow. And so we'll be collecting questions for the panel. So if you have questions for the, uh, the management team, the engineers, whatever your questions are about Alfresco, where we're headed, and things like that, then you, you can bring those questions uh, to, the, to the panel discussion. All right, the, la the last housekeeping thing is the conference survey. Hopefully, you guys will see a lot of uh, improvements that we made over last year, and that's all because of your feedback. And the feedback comes via this conference survey. So if you would, uh, tomorrow we'll have QR codes all over the venue. You can zap a QR code and fill out your conference survey. If that's not uh, uh, technically possible for you, and, uh, then you can get a piece of paper from, or a paper version of the survey from the registration desk and fill that out. Then you take your survey over to the t-shirt table, and they'll hook you up with a cool uh, Alfresco t-shirt. All right, so that's how that's going to work. And I appreciate your feedback ahead of time. All right, so I want to uh, start my uh, talk this morning and by giving you a short story about why is it that I get so excited uh, when it's time for DevCon. And the story starts here. Um, several years ago, I guess it's nine or ten years now, um, I'm leading up an ECM practice and we're doing Documentum work. And, uh, you know, the people that started Documentum were pretty smart. And the, engineer, the engineering team was pretty great. But, uh, and also, they threw some nice parties. Um, so, you know, it wasn't all bad. But there was a problem. There were a couple problems, actually. Problem number one was the six and seven figures, 
that our clients would have to pay to just get the software in the door. You know, that's a problem. Uh, and then maintenance on top of that, and then services on top of that. Now, I guess it's a good business model if you can, if you can uh, make that work, and certainly it's bought a, at least one and several sailboats for, for Larry Ellison, right? But, um, so, but the next problem with it is when something goes wrong, there's no way for you to know what's going on under the covers. You're forced to decompile the code, or you're forced to call their support organization and cross your fingers and hope for the best. Um, so no access to the source code. Now, uh, commercial proprietary software has been around for a long time. But at this time, 10, 10 years ago or so, you know, we were starting to see a lot of success with freely available open source software. We had alternatives to Windows Server and alternatives to Unix. In, and we were, running, uh, we were running Linux, we were running Apache Tomcat instead of IIS, we were running MySQL instead of, uh, instead of Oracle or SQL Server. But what we were missing was a credible alternative to ECM, an open source ECM system. And as, as I got like, you know, excited about implementing freely available software for my clients, I began to get crazier and crazier, like where the hell is my content management system? You know, you could, you could pull it together using different open source components that were out there, but our clients didn't want to hear that. They wanted, to, they wanted a company behind it. They wanted to be able to call somebody and, and ask them questions and get support when they had problems. Well, then one day in 2005, I come across a blog post, and the blog post very simply says, we'd like to announce Alfresco version one, an open source enterprise content management system. Well, I went and I downloaded that and I started playing with it. And uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't long before I realized that this was gonna be a credible alternative to things like Documentum and FileNet. And the topper was that the co-founder of Alfresco was one of the original founders of Documentum. And how great is that? I mean, that was it for me. It wasn't long after that, I, uh, I left my uh, consulting firm of nine years and went to work for a place that focused exclusively on open source. And I did Alfresco project after Alfresco project. And I wrote blog posts and I wrote tutorials and I figured the more people that could be successful with Alfresco, the better it would be. We could fight this battle against uh, proprietary and, and really show that, that open source was the way. But it wasn't just me that had this realization. This was happening all over the world. All of you and people uh, everywhere were helping each other in the forums and were writing blog posts and screencasts and sharing their stories with others about how they were able to implement Alfresco for a fraction of the cost of proprietary ECM. And now here we are, seven years later, and I don't want to steal any thunder from the Johns, but you know, millions of downloads, millions of installations, thousands of paying customers. We've got partners walking away from their Documentum partnership to be Alfresco partners. We've got customers migrating off of SharePoint and FileNet and Documentum because Alfresco can do it much more cheaply and uh, in a much more innovative way. And we've got Alfresco leading the way with an enterprise-wide ECM standard, CMIS. And then we've got Gartner. Gartner, a firm who fanned the flames of fear and uncertainty and doubt around open source. It's like it was the devil's music or something. Um, we have Gartner now praising us as a visionary in our space. We've disrupted the ECM market. And that is why when I look out to 300 people in San Jose and 400 people in Berlin, and when I help people in IRC and I chat with people uh, in the forums, it makes me feel good. Because that seed of hope and opportunity that I saw uh, seven years ago is germinating and it's flowering and it's apparent in, in the fact that all of you are here today. So I don't know, it just, it gets me excited. Uh, and and uh, it's, it's just very cool to, to have played at least a, a tiny part in, uh, in, in helping this happen. Now, there are people all over the world that are spending time and effort uh, in our community. And there's no way I could put those people all on one slide. But I do want to single out some folks over the last 12 months who have spent um, an incredible amount of time and effort um, fighting this fight alongside me and, and, and the rest of the community. So the people in gray are the people uh, who uh, are my community stars who came to the Berlin 
conference, and the people in uh, black are the, are the folks that were invited to this conference. If your name is, is on this slide, uh, I know se several, of you, several of these folks couldn't make it, but if your name is on this slide, would you mind standing up real quick so that we can uh, sort of recognize your, your efforts? Thank you. These folks uh, are the model for, uh, for our engaged community, and, and I would really like uh, to add your names to this list uh, for next year. So I just want to ask you, join the fight. Join this fight against software tyranny, okay? Uh, you know, not everybody in this room wakes up and says, how can I make Steve Ballmer sweat more than he already is? I get it. Some of you are, you know, okay, Jeff, yeah, fight the power, but uh, could I just have like records management that doesn't suck? And the answer is yes, we can actually do both. We can give you records management that's awesome and open source and certified. We can give you a kick-ass ECM platform, and at the same time, we can chip away at the market share of these guys who, uh, who are uh, still married to this old broken model. So thank you very much. Have a great conference. I look forward to talking to a lot of you here over the next couple of days. And if there's anything I can do to make this conference better uh, today, tomorrow, and, and next year, you, you come find me and let me know. Thank you so much.